so this, in this particular problem the velocity of a particle is given in terms of the dis in the in terms of the x coordinate or the displacement with respect to the origin uh, so that is a difference uh, as compared to the previous problems that we have encountered so it is moving in the positive direction of the x axis uh, according to this v equal to alpha root over x and alpha is a positive constant assuming that at the moment t equal to 0 the particle was located at point x equal to 0 that is at t equal to 0 it is at origin right uh, it's moving along the positive direction of x-axis okay find the time dependence of the velocity and acceleration of the particle the mean velocity of the particle averaged over the time that the particle takes to cover the first s meters of the path okay fine so first part okay so we already know that v it's given that v is equal to alpha root x now if we differentiate with respect to t on both sides why are we doing this because we know that dv by dt will give you the acceleration and dx by dt will give you the velocity of course the magnitudes this becomes dv by dt is equal to alpha by 2 root x times dx by dt now we know we know that dv by dt is acceleration we will represent it by w and alpha by 2 root x and dx by dt is velocity and from the given uh, given uh, equation we know that it, we can substitute that basically so this becomes alpha root x root x root x cancels out becomes alpha square upon 2 so this means your acceleration alpha square by 2 this thing is constant so this is a constant acceleration situation okay so this we already know how to deal with it it's very simple so the velocity becomes basically at any time t becomes u plus w t right u is 0 because why is it 0 because v is equal to alpha root x right when t equal to 0 when t equal to 0 x equal to 0 so v at t equal to 0 I'll just write it separately just because u sorry u is equal to v at t equal to 0 is equal to at t equal to 0 particle it is at x equal to 0 so v at x equal to 0 and we know the formula of v formula of v is alpha root x so alpha root x at x equal to 0 which is 0 so u is equal to 0 and okay and w is alpha square by 2 into t alpha square by alpha square alpha square t by 2 okay so yeah so this this is your velocity with respect to time okay right done of course the magnitude yeah second part is yeah the first part is done time dependence of velocity and acceleration of the particle second part is the mean velocity of the particle averaged over the time that the particle takes to cover the first s meters of the path so that is we need to find out the uh, mean velocity in terms of displacement Yes. Okay. This is what we need to find out. So, me, what is mean velocity? Okay. So we represent it by this. Uh, which it is basically the displacement by the time taken, right? Displacement by time taken. Now, what is the displacement? Okay. First, displacement is represented by yes. Very good. Um, now we know that in case of constant acceleration, s is equal to 
u t plus half w t square you already know that u is 0 and half w is alpha square by 2 we have already found out square by 2 t square so this becomes alpha square t square by 4 Right, which which is basically alpha t by 2 whole square okay so and of course we know that at t equal to 0 uh, the particle is at x equal to 0 okay okay so that is that is just that was just given so so since we need everything with respect to s let's find out the time taken to cover this placement s if we, if we take square root on both sides it becomes root s is equal to alpha t by 2 this means t is equal to t is equal to 2 into root s over alpha right this is your t right so this means mean displacement mean velocity is equal to displacement by time taken displacement is s time taken is t and s by 2 root over s by alpha right this becomes so yeah alpha times alpha times root s divided by 2 this becomes alpha times root s times root s divided by 2 so this is your required mean velocity in terms of s so that's that thank you